Hello there, Teacher Mark again. Uh, I've done two videos lately, one on top 10 vocabulary you should know and the most commonly used idioms you should know. In both those videos, I didn't give examples and I really should have given example sentences using the words. So what I'm going to do is go through the idioms and then the vocabulary and give you some example sentences and in the description box below, I will actually put in the sentences so you can see them. So hopefully this is useful and helpful for you. So from the idioms, we'll go in the correct order this time. So number one was break a leg. I heard you have a big audition tomorrow. Break a leg. Good luck with your presentation. Break a leg. Break a leg. Hope your presentation goes well. Bite the bullet. I know the exam is tough, but you just have to bite the bullet and do your best. He decided to bite the bullet and confront his fears of public speaking. He bit the bullet and proposed to his girlfriend. Three it was cost an arm and a leg. The new designer handbag she bought cost an arm and a leg. Living in that luxury neighborhood would cost an arm and a leg. My new Mercedes car cost me an arm and a leg. Or a piece of cake. Don't worry about the test, it's a piece of cake. For him, solving math problems is a piece of cake. Math problems for me is not a piece of cake at all. Five, kill two birds with one stone. By going to the grocery store on my way home, I can kill two birds with one stone. I combined my workout with errands to kill two birds with one stone. I should have killed two birds with one stone and gave the example sentences with each video I did earlier. Six, let the cat out the bag. I accidentally let the cat out the bag and revealed the surprise party. He let the cat out of the bag about their secret business plan. You should never let the cat out of the bag. Break the ice. To break the ice at a party, I started talking about a recent movie. He told a joke to break the ice during the awkward silence. Eight, caught between a rock and a hard place. She was caught between a rock and a hard place when both job offers required immediate decision. The company was caught between a rock and a hard place due to the budget cuts. When pigs fly. Sure, I'll believe it when pigs fly. He promised to clean his room when pigs fly. Last one from the idoms video is number 10, which was hit the nail on the head. She hit the nail on the head when her analyst of the problem, his suggestion hit the nail on the head and solved the issue. So with the words from the video before the idoms, serendipity. So by sheer serendipity, I ran into my childhood friend at the airport after years of not seeing each other. Serendipity is a great movie as well, which it looks at fate. Um, so you should really try that. John Cusack, I believe, is a lead actor in it. And it all follows on the serendipity of two people meeting and falling in love. Euphoria. Winning the championships filled me with such euphoria that I couldn't stop smiling for days. I was filled with euphoria when my last student passed their IELTS exam. Resilience. Despite facing numerous setbacks, she displayed incredible resilience and managed to achieve her goals. Ambivalence. I feel ambivalent about accepting the job offer because it means moving away from my family but it also presents new opportunities. Solitude. Sometimes I enjoy the peace and tranquility of solitude. 
as it allows me to reflect and recharge. I like the solitude on the beach in winter because it's very calming. Catalyst. The introduction of new technology acted as a catalyst for increased productivity in the company. Perseverance. Despite the challenges she perceived and eventually completed her marathon training. With perseverance, I can keep trying to do good videos. I'll get there one day. Ubiquitous. Smartphones have become ubiquitous in today's society, with almost everyone owning one. Epiphany. During a walk in nature, she had a sudden epiphany that changed her perspective on life. Uh, my last epiphany was when I was living in the Philippines and seeing the difference between poor and rich and realizing life wasn't that bad. Empathy. Through her empathic nature, she could truly understand and share the pain of others, offering comfort and support. So from my last two videos, there's a recap of the idioms and the vocabulary with example sentences. Hope you find this useful. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, dislike and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.